One thought that one might find it amusing for to see me rip this apart to see what I've got. So I thought, let's just do it on camera and see what we come across. Duct tape, my favorite duct tape. I love duct tape. Oh, love it. it the, the, many things can be done with duct tape. The uh, interesting thing about this is that the red stuff is very good. I wish I knew what it was. I even asked the owner if he remembers what it was that he put on it. The red stuff is uh, very good. Not what I would use, but it'd be interesting to know just from a point of view. All right, get all this duct tape off. I still haven't decided what I'm doing with this guitar yet. Uh, I'll probably know once I've uh, taken it apart. I think that you, you may get, you ever see the fiberglass strips, fiberglass and then epoxy resin? Tempted that way, but as I say, it's early days yet to find out what we're actually up against here. See big cracks there. So we got. Wish he'd have brought it to me at the beginning before he even touched it. That's loose. This duct tape is beneath the red stuff. So I need a little bit of a screwdriver because my nails are getting. I'm running my nails, love. I'm running my nails. I wonder if this has been. Somebody hit him over the head with it. Or some lover smashed it on the ground in temper. There's one of the, and I can't remember who it was now. I've, I fixed a guitar fairly recently that his girlfriend smashed a guitar on the ground. And uh, he tells me he still married her. I suppose it must have been love. But I still haven't forgotten, forgiven Pete and Twistle for all the damage he's done to guitars over the years. So I hope he's forgiven his wife. Past girlfriend, wife. You know, I... I I, this is sort of, I don't like to see any guitar thrown out, you know, or taken apart and dumped. I, do, I don't like it. You know, I'd like to try to rescue every guitar if I can, and I haven't come, come across one yet that I haven't been able to do something with. Now, if I was being paid to do this, I don't think the owner would go with it because it would cost far too much. But as, is, as I'm a charity luthier, and I don't charge people. I just ask him to make a donation to a CC. And if I get this working, the thumping and the noises you hear is Georgie girl. She has a favorite pink mouse and she's in the shower with it and she throws it into the shower. And then she runs after it in the shower and chases it up and down the shower. And that's all the noise you can hear. So let's take off the brown tapes. Uh, this little guitar would be great for parts. I've got a bridge and stuff like that there, but it's just a shame to throw a guitar away. This, you know, even though it's smashed, because it, I don't know where you can see the action there on the guitar. Action looks pretty good. And the guitar itself is still pretty strong. So we'll see as we get along. That's him. That's her throwing it against the shower head again. I think she must love the noise of it. Now, how are we going to get this foam off? Because foam is very sticky. I don't want to damage the guitar. <laughs> chunky, chunky, chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. All right. 
I, you know, what I see inside, the whole guitar is covered in foam inside. All inside there. Wish he'd have kept the bits. I might have been able to do something with the bits. Georgie girl, let like the people see your mouse. There's a, a, a brush, a, a, a brush, there's a, a pole in there. It looks like a brush shaft in there, holding the top and the bottom. Yeah, nothing wrong with that if it works. Yeah. You know, this foam would have worked if he hadn't, if he had done it a little bit more carefully, the foam would have done the job and kept it in. All right, so we've come up against a snag, just the first one. The wires are all... are all inside the foam and there's two jack plugs and the two jack plugs are inside the foam see that the jack block can you see the jack plugs inside the foam so We'll work around that so we don't bust the wires. Right, let's have a look at what we got. And take that unit out. There might be something we can do with that to get it back into the guitar. And I'm going to be a bit of a thumpy here, so forgive me as I make a thumpy noise. <clears throat> Anybody got an idea what that red stuff is? No. Don't know whether any of you guys are country fans or not, but I'm a, a real country fan. I'm not into the Kelly Clarkson type country. I'm into the Merle Haggard and George Jones. are making a real mess of everything. <clears throat> but it's like everything. If you don't want to do it, don't do it, don't start it. And my dad was standing beside me in courtroom one day for a court case I was involved in. One that every divorced man goes through. And 
it was bedlam. There was shouting and screaming from the other side and all sorts of antics and threats and things like out there. And Dad could see that I wasn't enjoying it very much. We were sitting outside the courtroom waiting for the judge to bring us in. And he says to me, we all have to go through these things in life. And he says, if it wasn't for you, nobody would be here. Now, that might be a, sound like a cruel thing to say, but it's not. We all make our own decisions in life and choices, and whatever road they bring us down is the road that we started on. We may not think we have started on a road like that, but we end up on it. Very prophetic, eh? eh? Prophetic. But it's an interesting thing. My dad taught me that. And it's been a good bit of advice, you know. In other words, be careful what you decide on when you're younger or when you're making a major decision in life. Look for the warning signs. And if there, and if there are warning signs, be aware that they'll never, those warnings will, may come, become worse, but they'll never become better. So if you see the warning signs at the start, don't think that uh, a miracle's going to happen and those little warning signs are not going to become major issues. And that applies to everything, not just to marriage. It applies to everything. All right, that's all looking very, all looking very uh, interesting. I have a feeling what I'm going to do. Is spend a lot of time on this guitar as a sort of a, a toy. Uh, see if I can do it. See if I can get it to any sort of shape at all for playability. It's not an expensive guitar. You know, it's not something that, that, uh, that, that people will spend money on. But I like the shape of it. It's a Copeland guitar, and there are a very high quality company called Copeland guitars, but this is not the same company. This is Japanese, or Korean, or, or something. You can look it up if you're interested, but it's not, it's not the, the Copeland Guitars. They just used the name, and it's a nice fancy front on it. And to say the phone did a good job of holding it together, and he could have got a little guitar out of this. If it just spent a bit more time on this, because I, I got a feeling that, you know, look at that there, that's all smashed up. But just with a, I think you, you could, actually what I'm gonna do is gonna take each of these nice pieces off and uh, rebuild it from scratch. But uh, I think that he, if he had taken a bit more time, he might've got something out of this, you know, something decent play with. You see that's foam, that's breaking even as we speak because there must be stress, cracks. Right, okay, and there's another. In some ways the uh, foam didn't do any favors to it because it expanded the whole guitar outwards. Look, the curfing. Curfing's even attached to that. The more I see of that, the more I sort of think, mm -hmm, am I mad? Am I mad? But we'll see. Am I mad? I am bloody mad. What are you talking about? Hmm. 
Right, okay, that's something. Oh, that's uh, rubber sealant. What do you call it? The stuff you use for bathrooms, which is a little bit more, a little bit more adhesive than the, the foam. how this happened. I must ask the owner. Well, he's given me the guitar, so I am the owner, but I'd, I'd like to know if I can get it working again, I'll give it back to him. Or ask him to make a donation to my charity and I'll sell this. Uh, <laughs> sell this for a tenner or something, just to get it. What's, what's that there? What is that? I don't know what the hell that is not the neck. The neck's held on by two dowels going right, two wooden dowels going right through the body. Let's have a look inside. Curving again. I don't want to throw away any of that because I might be able to do something with it. No. Nope up to that. That's cracked the whole way right around it here and back. So I'm going to take that whole thing off. I'm going to take the whole thing off. See what, what I can do with it. Like a jigsaw puzzle. Like a jigsaw puzzle. jigsaw puzzle. Now this bit, there's a screw here which I'm going to take off. It's screwed to a, I'll show you it when I take it out. Oh, it's twisting around. <laughs> it's not, it's not on very well. I have done this myself, the dowels. I don't know what kind of screw that is. That's a very unusual type screw. Look at that closer. Impressive. What kind of screw is that? Let me put my glasses on to see close up what type of screw it is. I see a little. Oh, for those who are interested, where is it? It's got little ridges inside the threads. Not sure what that does, but there you go. And there's the dowel that was in it. <laughs> Looks like an old broom handle. Where is it? <laughs> Looks like an old broom handle. Okay, second pair of glasses off. And uh -huh. oh, so there's, there's, there's gaffer tape inside as well. Look. So we obviously put the gaffer tape in just to keep the thing in, in line and then put the foam in. This looks like it's been... You know, I still might throw this whole thing in the bin and just strip it for parts, but I do like a challenge. for us. A Stanley knife. Where's my Stanley knives? There they are there. How long have we got on this recording? The board. I'm not sure you're bored. It's Saturday night. 
what else would you be doing on a Saturday night during lockdown? Except for some, watching somebody rip a part of a car. Hey? But, uh, I got the cables. I got, I got the cables free. Which is good. I got the cables free. They're not quite free yet, but I want them completely free. There we go, there's one cable. And I presume that other cable goes to the jack plug, which is not held on by anything. But we'll soon find out. Mm. I'm looking inside now and I can see that some of the struts are smashed as well. Okay, uh, okay. If you're bored, go and make me a cup of coffee and come back again in five minutes. I like one sugar, please, and cafe latte if possible. There's the one going to the jack plug right at the back. Take this big bit off. What are you doing up there? I have warned you a squillion times not to go up there. You, what have you up? What are you up there? What have you knocked down? Don't talk to me. Hey, I have told you not to go up there. I will get cross with you and I'll spray you. Warned you not to go up there. She's into everything. I have to use a spray on her. It's it's just water in a tin, so I spray her when she's naughty. She doesn't like it at all. She doesn't like it, Mr. Mainwaring. So it's you spraying her so that she uh, remains wary of it and doesn't start to enjoy it. Oh, there's some sellotape there. Oh, I like it. Some sellotape as well. I must have been running out of duct tape. I bet you guys like to see what's inside these things. Let's just see. I don't want to smash it anymore because this is a sort of a strengthening part. I'm just going to stick this up, unedited, and then when we do part two, I'll stick it up unedited, and then uh, okay. Yeah, look at that. Ain't that good? Hey, you. I told you. I told you. I think my cat's an anti-Semite. Because somebody gave me a, a friend of mine went to Israel and brought me back a kippah. One of those round hats you wear in the back of your heads. I am a very much supportive of the Jewish people. Well, even though I'm an atheist, I'm very much supportive of them. And that kippah is something that Georgie Girl loves to, to knock down from the shelf. There might be a better way of pronouncing it, kippah. That sounds like kipper, you know. Right, how long is that? I think that's enough for this video. And uh, we got the main parts off, so... I won't keep going. I'll I'll stop the video, and some of you might find this interesting. So uh, when I go to take off the rest of it, I'll put the camera back on again. But at the moment, I'm thirsty. I talked myself into a coffee, and nobody brought me one. So thank you very much for nothing, like. 
right? And I don't know whether you can see in there. Can you see in there? You see the, the smashed strut that's going to have to be glued. And I'll just let you see inside because very seldom do you get to see inside one of these guitars. You see there's two dowels, two... Well, they're not dowels. They're actually U-shaped pieces of wood up to the top. So, I'm now tired. I'm going to press the button. Have a uh, whisper bar and a cup of coffee and tackle this again tomorrow night. Good day. Good day. Hope, hope it didn't bore you too much. Ciao.